So I thought I'd uh, really quickly share. Uh, it's been uh, almost a, a full year of printing with my my Solidoodle 2 3D printer now. Uh, I just want to take a couple of minutes and uh, share a couple of the mods I've done and uh, some of the success I've been having and some of the troubles. Um, I have had nothing but great success with this. Uh, the Solidoodle 2 is a great printer right out of the box. It is uh, was brought out in the infancy of 3D printers. They still are, and uh, obviously there there are some uh, quirks to be worked out. They're not ready for mass market yet, but for people with a little bit of technical ability and uh, a little bit of tinkering ability, they, they work fantastic. So what I've done to mine, uh, you can see up there in the uh, on the extruder, you'll see uh, Ian's um, uh, fan duct. I just added that last weekend. Oddly, I've been printing this long without it. I should never have let it go this long without. It is a must-do mod early on. And with that mod, I was able to print, I doubt this is going to show up, but this is one of my switch caps. Um, I was able to print at uh, 0.1 millimeter layer height. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to do it. Now that I got the extruder fan, it makes all the difference in the world. Absolutely must have for 0.1 millimeter layer height. It uh, I could just simply couldn't do it before. So, uh, well, now I can. Um, the light's really poor in here, so not much of it's going to show up, but uh, that's one uh, the door handle for the solid oodle. Uh, I'm probably not going to throw that on there, but I found this on uh, the solid oodle forum and uh, printed it last weekend. It uh, This is at 0.3 millimeter, and I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this is right out of the printer. I did no cleanup on these. No oozing, no dripping. Uh, I can tune the retraction settings just a little bit more, but uh, not by much. This will be my next mod. This is a bearing holder for the Z-axis. And I'll see if I can get zoomed in on my very poor Z-axis mod. That is a 5 16 nut on top of the original 5 16 nut. Printed a cap before all the nifty two-piece caps were available. It was one of my first mods. And just uh, black goop glued it down so that it doesn't rotate it's just set to take the lash out of the z-axis it works incredible got rid of all the z-banding except for this rod actually has some wobble to it as the bed moves down this rod does wobble so uh, the plan is to these this holder um, will hold i think it's a, a roller blade bearing forget I think you can buy them at the skate shop so I have to double check the number but that will go on the top and between the two support rods and guide the z-axis but I couldn't install that yet because of my nuts on there uh, the even though I don't add much height with my nut holder the uh, just the second nut alone takes up quite a bit of space so there's not enough room at the top with the bed all the way up at home there's not enough room for that so this, the second, the next mod on my list will get rid of that problem. The next mod on my list is a glass bed. These are dollar store uh, mirrors. It was two bucks for three of them, and they're the perfect size for the bed. They are perfectly flat. Uh, I've already checked that. They are way flatter than the original bed, which I have, which was warped from factory. It is what it is with uh, aluminum bed printer. You Get what you pay for kind of deal not much you can do about it it uh it was definitely uh has some warpage i've learned to compensate since day one by placing the parts around the bed where i know the warps aren't and uh quite simply i can't print very large parts and uh and uh cover the whole bed because the first layer is a real problem uh, to get good adhesion uh, at one spot uh, you'll drive the nozzle right into the bed at others and to get adhesion all it's just impossible to get adhesion all the way around is uh you, your high spots will contact the nozzle so it's kind of a, a give and take but uh yeah that's my next mod that'll move the bed down far enough um when i reset the z and i'll be able to use my 
uh, nut holder, which should take the wobble out as the bed gets down for higher parts. And uh, I'll see if I can show you the back at the uh, fan mod. It's really ugly because I just did it. This is the the uh, the driver for the fan. I just wired it out loose and the terminals. I did not put header pins on. I let's see if I can get that focus. I just tacked them on, soldered them on on the back side. Uh, plenty good enough for this, except they are going to vibrate off. So I either need to get the proper headers on there or uh, uh, or uh, adhere them a little bit better. Um, not a problem either way. Uh, I think I'll just do the headers and do it right. I have to disassemble the printer anyway. And uh, that'll get rid of that issue. I would suggest using the driver that is listed on the link from Ian's blog. Um, I'm sure his driver is fine, but I used the all-in-one solution that's from the link. I forget the other gentleman's name who did it. And uh, it was, I think they were buck fifty, and it's an all-in-one, high-current, nice, really nice little unit. Uh, I had good luck with it, and uh, I'm familiar with the chip actually. So uh, it's, I actually had four of them in the uh, in the bin for uh, for driving some other things. So anyway, uh, yeah, a year of printing. Uh, I got to clean out all the mess out of the bottom of the hair. <laughs> As you can see, I, I print quite a few things. Those are just my tools for getting stuff off the bed in there right now. But I'll get the glass bed in there maybe up tonight and uh, move on to an uh, even better generation. Important to note, uh, I have not even had a clog with this printer. I, uh, I run Repetier, or however you pronounce that, over there. I have never had a tip clog. I have never had a stepper fail. I have never had a component fail. I've had to tighten the belts and repeatedly level the bed. But beyond that, uh, no issues other than the mods I just showed. I just showed so. Uh, solid Oodle, excellent printer. I've had great luck. It took a long time to get it. A lot of people have horror stories and complaints. Uh, I didn't. I was lucky. I didn't have shipping damage, thankfully. And uh, the filament that I've received from them has worked great. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, that was the other door handle I printed. It's turned out pretty good. I'm not going to use that one either. But uh, lots and lots of AML caps for the Learjet. If uh, Anybody is looking at buying a solid oodle, I think, uh, well, solid oodle 3 is out now and uh, has been for a while. I think uh, for the money, you probably can't go too far wrong as long as you're willing to put up with a few minor shortcomings and fix things up. Um, get everything working and print your own spare parts. If anybody on here has some good ideas for spare parts, I should be printing. I know I've gotten away from get out of jail free for a long time, but I have no spare parts for this printer printed. so. If you have any thoughts on what uh, what I should be stocking up, probably uh, the hot end, all the extruder mount or something, everybody, the jigsaw, so to speak. I hear a lot of horror stories, but I'm not even sure which one is the best. I see there's lots of variations out there now. So Anyway, uh, that's about it. A lot of talking, not a lot of... Hopefully there's some good information for some from someone in, for someone in here, but... Uh, uh, pretty happy with my solid oodle. It sits in here at my uh, at my main work desk, and uh, when I get the urge, I just hit print on whatever. And uh, really enjoying it now. Should have done the the fan mod from day one. I don't know why I got so lazy and just never got around to it, but uh, it's done now, and the difference is quite incredible. Um, just using the solid oodle 0.1 millimeter profile right from their site, uh, right out of the box with my printer settings, uh, no problem now. Out of the box, I mean their their profile for slicer. It uh, I made no mods to it whatsoever. It's working good. So anyway, hope this helps someone.